20 old enough to retire? Maybe not, but it's probably appropriate for me to start considering the next generation of punk. I mean, if I'm not here setting a good example for the kids, who will? That bigot Dr. Laura? I can that racist asshole the Reverend the Jerry Falwell? Those overpaid glam rock junkies I see on MTV? Or maybe they'll just fall victim to their local Christian youth group and forget who they are entirely. In the righteous words of Limprist, this ain't no cross on my hand. Too often do the shows thin out as people claim punk is just another phase of their life. Too often do musicians hide behind their drug addictions and pass them off as hip fashion statements or some form of self-destructive rebellion. Too often do the kids forget the importance of being vegetarian, of being drug free, of being accepting to new ideas and being supportive of their friends. Come to the shows, stay for the shows. Go straight edge, stay straight edge. You ask me, are you down with the A squad? And I say, that depends. How many beers do I have to drink before I'm inebriated? Or wait, I mean, liberated. Anarchy is not about being trashed. How can you properly resist if your walking is uncoordinated? How can you speak out if your speeches are slurred? How can you stand up when your legs won't hold you? I'm sorry, I won't let you poison my younger brothers and sisters. I see the older generations preying on the young constantly. The scene is not your dating service, nor your opportunity for drug distribution. I have too much love for them to let you try and destroy what we're struggling to rebuild. This is not just a community, this is the closest thing to family some of us have ever had. Too often do I see kids being singled out because of sexual orientation. Too often do I see kids being singled out because of race. Too often do I see kids being singled out because of gender. But most importantly, too often do I see this happening in our own punk scene. But don't sweat it kids, you are not alone. There are so many people out there that would be totally psyched about being your friend. There is so much love out there for you, you just need to find it. We'll drive you to the shows, we'll let you in for free, we'll protect you from the cops, and we'll be up front with you singing along. Don't fear the future, music has so much to offer and there is so much potential for a positive and supportive scene. So if your idea of an awesome Friday night is playing beer pong, packing a bowl, and watching Aqua Teen Hunger Force, Go for it. I find much humor in the phrases your friends have written on your forehead left over from the night before. If that's your distraction from the hard times that life brings, then take whatever sedatives you need to calm your nerves and help you forget. But please, please, please think of the children. Think about who those kids see at the shows. Think about those lyrics that you write. Think about the speeches that you make and the atmosphere that you create. I realize it's hard to have responsibility in such a supposed carefree environment, but encouraging equality, respect, compassion, and imparting wisdom on the youth is not only beneficial for them, but helps teach you to be a better person. Let's be rad. Let's stay rad.